Yes, and so welcome to Vasily's Garden, folks. This morning I did a quick live video about mulching your garden bed and I thought I'm going to come back and visit it in the afternoon. So it's about nearly 8 o'clock actually. Uh, we've still got plenty of daylight here. And I did mention in the morning, and here come the puppies, they're going to knock us over, um, that I'm not going to water this bed because it's actually holding a lot of moisture underneath the mulch. And I left it unwatered and don't mind me, I'm really grubby today, I've been doing a lot of weeding. But when I did come out here since the morning, look at this bloody mess. Have a look at this. Bloody birds are getting in here and just turning over the mulch everywhere. That's the only problem I have with the mulch in the garden bed, on the low garden beds, like the ones on the ground here. It's because the birds can get into it easily. Now, the important thing about mulch is that it's got to interlock. It's got to, it's got to have that sort of matrix interlocking uh, uh, texture on it so that it actually stops the airflow getting through or reduces, I should say, the airflow getting through to the soil, which is what causes it also to dry out, not just the direct sunlight. So I want to come over here and let's have a look as I haven't looked myself as a pre, uh, precaution to see if it's moist. This is where we tested it in the morning. No extra water and it is as damp as the morning. It has not lost any moisture whatsoever. Now, I must admit, these are raised garden beds. Oh, look at that, we even got a worm in there. Hey, we scored one. Okay, well, what I have to tell you about this garden bed is that it's a semi-wicking bed. It's not, <laughs> the dogs are there. <laughs> Cara, careful, sweetheart. Oh, you're all wet. Uh, all right, come on, come on, say hello. All right, go away. Oh, dribble all over. <laughs> Again, I'm going to get up because she's not going to leave me alone. All right, these beds here, I've got to finish these doors too, uh, are like a wicking bed. They don't have the actual piping system in there at all, but what they've got is the liner inside, and I have used a, a poly liner, and some of you may not like that, but I need to be able to be, maintain as much moisture in it. But there is a liner inside, and if you look down here, the grass, this is the cooch grass trying to get through here, but the liner sits on the flat on the ground. And then I folded it up on the outside of the walls and then I've just nailed it with another two before, one and a half, whatever it is. And that's the liner there. So that's the height of the liner. So anything higher than that will absorb into the timber and drain outwards. So this is another bed. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, it's a bit drier, this one. Look at that. So this is actually a different, this is, this is actually a different soil mix. Every bed's had a different treatment. So this needs hydrating, but although the plants don't look like they're suffering, they've just survived the day. Didn't get a water either, folks. The only plants that actually got a water were the tomatoes and this bed down here. And I'm gonna kill this bird. I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> oh, look at this, seriously. Look at this. I mean, I threw a pumpkin plant in here just for the sake of it and threw a little bit of mulch around it, right? And it's just, oh God, I give up. <laughs> He's literally turned, or he or she, whatever it is, has turned that garden bed over. Has made a total mess of it. Oh, bird scarers we need, huh? And this is what happens. Look at it. Just digging over, looking for worms, made a bloody mess. Mulch everywhere. It's moist, thank God for that. So the soil's good over here. That raised garden bed over there needs work. And what I've got to do with that one is put a lot of uh, uh, planting mix into it. Have a look at them, they're not bad, huh? They're actually holding their color. They seem like they, they need water, but they don't. I think it's just the heat, they've gone through that excessive heat. It's moist, yeah. Have a look at it, it's nice and moist there as well. So the ground's holding its moisture. Folks, mulch your garden bed. If you haven't mulched it, pick your favourite. We're actually bringing in some bean straw uh, for those who've come down to the store in Coping and asking for it. We'll have some there and we'll have some at Lethbridge for pickup only. So that's this stuff here. Uh, I don't know where else you can get it from if you're not in Victoria. Ask your local uh, garden supplies or your agricultural supplies. Give it a go and give your plants a go to keep them hydrated. Got a cucumber. I'm delighted. I'm still waiting for a bloody tomato. Check out our website, vasiliesgarden.com. Our six kilo black grit's gonna go offline for shipping uh, at midnight on the 15th. And remember, every time you shop online, uh, you go into the draw for this month uh, to win yourself a $500 garden hamper. Uh, terms and conditions apply, vasiliesgarden.com. From me, Vasily, Maresi.